Hey folks, TechNivers here. Today we are looking at extensions in Kira. So in order to see what's available for Kira extensions, all you have to do is open up Kira and click on the marketplace. Now it does take a minute to load, but when it does, you get all of these added functionalities and you can download these individually and they do different things. So you'll notice over here on my left side that I have a couple of options that you don't have with vanilla Kira. These are some support options. So if you'd like to get a better look at how exactly those two extensions in particular work, I will put a card up in the corner there at the very top of the screen and you can click on that. It'll bring you to my video on those two extensions and how I added them and how to actually use them. Today we're going to go over some of my favorite extensions. I'm just going to talk to you about them and we're not actually going to download them. I'm just going to point out that there is a lot of functionality in Kira that you may not know about because you don't have these extensions or haven't looked at them. So stay tuned to this video to the very, very end. You're going to like what you see here and there's a lot of good information. But before we jump into it, I want to ask you guys, please leave a subscribe and a like on this video because that helps other people find this video and we always appreciate you coming back to watch. So let's jump right into it right now some of the more popular ones. Now you're gonna notice up here the ones that say premium. They're premium because they are really well worked. They do not cost money. That's not what premium means in this instance. So um, mesh tools is a very, very powerful tool for repairing some meshes, doing analysis and some other manipulations. So this is one of those ones that uh, it's, it's in the main section because it's really, really powerful, has a lot of options and works really, really well. You'll notice that its last update was just a couple months ago, and it is on its third version. So lots of information in here when clicking on one of those extensions to see exactly what it's about. Now, I will point out, if you take a look here, this uh, field of view, it's not actually a brand. That is the user that created this, and he is responsible for a lot of these extensions, as well as a lot of actual... Uh, upgrades to Kira over the years so if you ever run into him make sure you give him a big thank you he does a lot of work for everybody in the 3d printing industry even though they don't even really know it so this is a very handy one to have if you want it all you got to do is click the install button um, none of these that you install will be loaded until the next time you load Kira and in most cases they'll show up in this extensions bar up here we'll take a look at that in a minute but in some cases you'll get fancy little buttons on the left here like this so um, we have Arc Welder. So Arc Welder is one of those ones that uh, people love it or hate it. It takes and does exactly what it says. It converts subsequent G0 and G1 moves to G2 and G3. So instead of a bunch of little straight lines, this prints an arc, giving you smoother, smoother curves. Um, you do have to have that activated in your firmware in order for it to work. I have a video on how to set up your Ender 3 with Arc Welder somewhere around here. I personally didn't find it to be worth it, but I'm told that if you're doing something such as printing over a Wi-Fi network like Octoprint, that it is a lot more beneficial. So um, let's see what else. Back. Um, and yeah, there's lots in here. So a couple I haven't looked at, but seem interesting. Auto orientation. Um, this extension enables automatic orientation of models to reduce the need for support. It's pretty interesting, could be very useful. Um, automatic slice toggling. This basically just adds a button that sometimes uh, you can set it so every time you move the model in Kira, it reslices it. Uh, in a lot of cases, that's not preferred. You only want to slice when you're ready because I change a lot of settings and I don't want it to reslice every time I change a setting and lock up my computer and not let me change anything else. So um, I leave that off. But that is. Uh, uh, that will take that button out of the settings and put a button down here so you can turn it on and off easier without having any issues. Blender integration is great. If you do any sculpting or modeling in Blender, this will allow you to open Blender files directly in Kira. That is awesome. Um, another big one, Barbarian Units. This will uh, convert from metric to inches and inches to metric. So if you don't like using millimeters in your slicer, you can certainly use this to convert it to inches. However, I do recommend staying in millimeters because it is a much more accurate measurement, obviously, and it is uh, accuracy, accuracy is kind of key when you're printing mechanical parts, so that's something that I don't tend to mess with. However, I could see, being in America, how a lot of people would much rather just deal with inches because that's the system that they're used to. So, um, Lots of other integrations here. I definitely recommend downloading the calibration shapes. 
This has some basic tests that you can print, uh, quite a few actually. So there's a flow test, an overhang test, thin wall test, bridging, junction deviation tower, a couple of different print temp towers, bed level calibration test, all that stuff. So instead of going and getting each of these files off a of Thingiverse or finding a random uh, two or maybe three pack, uh, you can get them all right here and they're already automatically in Kira for you. You're ready to go. So uh, then let's see what else we have. Um, Kira Blender is the same as Blender integration. It allows for reading and writing Blender files. So this one only allows you to open it. This one will allow you to save as a blend file and then you can edit it in Blender. As you can see, I have custom supports and cylindrical custom supports attached. Um, and, and downloaded, those are two that I use very, very commonly. Uh, and then you can see there is a lot of other options in here. Say you have a Dremel or a Flash Forge and you would like to get the settings for those. Um, and then you get down here into these. So these plug looking ones, uh, I would bet money. Yeah, these are all field of view. So you can see what I mean when I say that he has a lot of contributions here. So. Um, all of these blue plugs with the different designs linear advanced settings I actually need to check that out um, okay uh, material cost tools for measuring calculating measuring tools material settings um, settings for a mono price select mini I'm not sure if that's his because it's not the plug um, octo print is printer settings sidebar GUI provides an alternative interface which restores the sidebar uh, and then you have uh, some other basic things thingy browser is even if you don't use thingiverse is definitely an extension worth checking out because in there it also goes over all the models from my mini factory so you can download that you open it and then basically you type something in and you can search right from kira and then open it without the hassle of downloading and digging through folders and things like that it's a really really cool extension so um definitely pop in here and check these out guys let's take a look at my installed I don't have a ton on right now I have the custom supports cylindric custom supports and MKS Wi-Fi plugin now I'm not actually using Wi-Fi this MKS Wi-Fi plugin is pretty cool because let's see if I can find it in here uh, you may have to dig around a little bit but it is in here let's see MKS yep right here okay so this guy will allow you to save as a TFT file. Now you can't see that because my little head's in the way. But if you look, it says save as TFT file. So if you saw my video on the Focus Odin F5, that guy puts a picture, a 3D picture of what you're printing on the screen while you're printing it, such as uh, an LCD printer does with, uh, with two files where it shows you, okay, this is the file you're printing. Um, and saving as TFT is the way to do that. If you don't save as TFT, it will only show you a Kira icon instead of that model. So this doesn't work for every printer, but for printers where it's able to display that model, you have to save as a TFT file to save the binary file in G code and save that picture file as well. So um, very, very cool. I save all of my files as TFT now. They print just fine on machines that don't show that display. Um, but the machines that do show that display are really, really, really upscale, really cool looking. Uh, plus, it's nice to scroll through your model list. Instead of a bunch of names, uh, you get pictures and you can see exactly what you're printing. So um, that's going to be it for this, guys. We we're just taking a look at the extensions. We can go up here and I'll show you. I don't have any showing up in here um, other than post-processing. And that is because... The, most of the extensions I have installed actually give me buttons here. But if you're not seeing a new button here to use with your extension, definitely jump up and check out the extensions on the bar there. And like I said, none of this is going to show up until you install it and then close and restart Kira. And in fact, when you install one, it'll ask you if you want to restart. So if you're going to install multiple, uh, definitely do it all at one time. Then you only have to restart once. But if you're going to be doing that, I definitely recommend you make sure you know what you're installing so you don't uh, confuse them or uh, think that one is done through here. Okay, so both of these do the same thing, okay? Um, this one has a lot more options. This is custom support cylinders. Uh, this one is a little bit simpler, but they both do the same thing. So kind of superfluous to have them both. Um, but it is easy to identify which one's which by just simply sliding over it. So. 
Um, that's going to be it, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. I'm going to head out. I will catch you in the next one. I'm doing a video right now on practical printing. If you're wondering what this is, this is a uh, wire hiding channel for my wall underneath my, my wall-mounted TV between that and the fireplace. So um, hopefully that video will be done in the next couple days. And I have a few more interesting things coming out soon. So definitely stay tuned, and we will see you in the next one. Stick around guys, I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here, and if you haven't already, subscribe, 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 make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one, Technivorous out.